Hey friends, uh, it's Kathy here again today and I'm at Vida Pura yes. with Veronica, the owner. Hello everybody, how are y'all? Great, it's so great to get to meet you. Thank you. Um, I can't wait to hear more about your business. I'm excited to tell you. Good. <laughs> All right, so let's start with how you came up with this idea in the first place. Absolutely. Um, so I would say about 12 years ago, my dad got diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, we own Mi Madre's restaurant, you know, my family and I. I know, yeah, I, okay, got it. Yeah. One of the most iconic Maynard Road restaurants. 33 years in the business here already in the East Side, so we're very proud of that. Um, so after that, um, we had to make some changes in our lifestyle as well as in mine. I was going through a difficult time. I was beginning to be in my 40s and question, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna leave behind? How do I wanna be remembered? Um, so my dad, you tell him, first thing they told him in the hospital was like, you need to get operated, get diagnosed, um, radiation, chemotherapy. You tell that man something, he's gonna be like, nope, I'm gonna do something else. <laughs> it's prostate cancer, so you know. That's a big deal. It is a big deal. So he did, he did a little research and he found out it's what we put in our bodies. Yeah. So the reason why this came about in a short term is because of the way and the changes that we had to make in our life. And to know that you can start at any time. I mean, I was in my 40s when I started making that change. My dad was in his 60s. Wow. So Vida, the name of the place Vida because my dad's still alive. The pink represents a cancer. So everybody has a story with that, and I wanted to always be remembered by that. Buddha is what we put in our bodies. What are we putting in our bodies? And the best thing is, my dad became a vegan. He has a Mexican restaurant, and he's a vegan. Yes. What? And that what? happened over 12 years, you know, in the 12 years change. It didn't happen over time, but wow. he is still alive. And the way that I like to think about it is, we are not, he's not living his life, he, we are prolonging his life. Yeah. So there's a different meaning to it. So Vida Pura for me is part of that family of their new ways of how we see life. So that's, that's how beautiful. It. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. So you did that, and then how long did it? Did you have the business at another location, or did you open it here? I opened it here. Okay. Um, I didn't want to go anywhere else. We've been in this, you know, in this yeah, you East Main Road for 33 years. Yeah, already. right down the road. Right. Um, so my first thing, I wanted to bring it here. This is where I kind of grew up. This is where I, everybody has been very welcoming. So I, I had to put my roots in here. I didn't know how at that moment, but the question here, as I always say, don't ask the whys, just know that it can happen. And that's how really Vida Pura was really made. This place was available. Um, my dad, we were looking for a place, not here, but we were trying. Um, and then I don't know where this place became available, which used to be ingredients before. Yep. Um, and um, we got on it. The uh, landlord is a customer of Vida Pura. He already had a lease for somebody else and he gave it to us. So that was amazing for me. Um, the opportunities just start coming. If it's meant to be, it will be. I agree. That's, Always. That's how it became. I mean, we started Vida Pura. I mean, who would have thought five years ago I would have said, I'm going to have a juicery here? <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's just not. Yeah. But life is that way, and uh, I took that risk. I knew that I wanted to open it up, especially as a Latina. Yes. Um, because of so many um, Latinos and African Americans, we are dying of cancer and heart attacks, and um, um, just a lot of things that you know that my dad is going through. I wanted to, I wanted to see the face and say balance your life a little better. It's not about taking away anything. I love going over there to my mother's eating my tacos. They're so delicious. Yes. But this was made on to just expose a little bit more of balance it. Yeah. Have a little bit more of a life. Yeah. And as a Latina, it needs to be brought up more. They need to see more of that of us in that. So I love that. I love that. We definitely need more representation. Yes. So tell me about what you um, produce and serve here. Absolutely. Um, the one of the main things as we did a research and we there's actually a juice con so I did a lot of that um, was cold press juicing yep so cold press juicing is not the same as a blended juice a blended juice produces heat when it blends with the with the uh, blades cold press is just compressed 100% in a hydraulic machine 
what it does it brings all the nutrients and the enzymes and the minerals what does that do that oh it's almost like medicine mm -hmm. I'm not a doctor I always say that first of all uh, you know and I'm not here to say this is gonna cure you it's just like everything else it's like working out it balances a little bit more of your life yep. so as long as you're getting all the minerals it clears your mind I like to say it's a happy juice it makes you happy it really clears your mind it gets you going it gets you started for your day so yeah. for me always start off with the juice I love it yes yeah thank you so so here is is it all juice just juice do you have any other type of food products or yes um, so what we serve here is try to be on all the health and natural stuff a lot of homemade foods I make my own house made granola Wow. Chia pudding, all the soups are made here. We have waffles, we have fun things like mangonadas, you know, with a chili powder. Yeah. I have to bring in what the Latin flavor is. Yes. Um, I have a juice that has serrano and a shot that has serrano and activated charcoal. No other you will find something like this. It is just, not only is it just special, it heals and it helps. There's always something for everybody um, on top of just the flavors itself. Um, I also make oatmeal. Um, the acais, but the main thing that I want to be able to be known as is the culprit's juicy. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. So the community has obviously been very supportive. Yes. Uh, you know, um, as you know, I kind of opened it up right after the pandemic did start it. Um, it was very difficult, just like any other business has yeah. or anywhere else. So, um, but the best way to do it is know that how bad do you want it? How do you want to do it? And, how, you know, for me, it was every day just putting it myself out there and letting them know coming from me, I am here. I am in this business. This is my life. It's not like just a business and I leave. You can see me here almost every day. I'm in the back of the house, in the front of the house, because that's what I learned from me, Madras. You know, it's this is our community, Yep. you know, and I want them to know that I am here making sure that your juices our customer service and everything is represented well. That's important for here and for the community and what we're known as. So that doesn't stop there. I wanted to make sure that I brought that in with us at Vida Pura. That's huge. Yes. I love it. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> well, we will continue to bring support to your family and um, spread the word about this business. Thank you. Um, is there any, do you have anything big coming up or anything new that you're gonna be doing here um, that you wanna share? Prior to the pandemic, I did have, like, I wanted this place to be a community. I love the space yeah. and what it represents here. Um, I had, you know, yoga and classes for women for free and just um, community stuff here. Yeah. Um, it, the pandemic started, but afterwards, I definitely, I want to start that again. Yes. This is, I always say this is not my place. This is the community place. And I want that to make sure that it is what it is, you know. This wouldn't have been here also if it wasn't for the community. Yeah. So I always want to first always say thank you for that. Because, you know, like without the community, we, we can't be it. But just know that I am coming from my heart. This is something that I love and I found what at the end of the day is a business. But when I leave, I know that I'm being healthy. I have my dad alive and the community, I'm selling you something really good and healthy. And that's what, at the end of the day, makes me clear my mind and know that I'm doing a good job. And that's that's what it is. That's what life is about. Yes. Just making sure that you're happy. Yes. So, thank oh, you. Oh, I'm like tearing up over here. <laughs> I'm thank so you. motivated to like, yes. go change my community now. Yes. Um, well, if there's ever anything we can do to help you figure out more uses for the space, like call me anytime. Thank you. Yes. Um, I do want to say just, yes. um, just spread the word. It's It has been difficult. Um, this is my first main business by myself. And as a woman, and like we, we're just touching everything. And I just want to make sure people know, like, I'm here. And I welcome every business and everything else. You know, I there's room for everything and everybody. That's what we have been at. You know, I mean, that is what I've learned from there. So I'm very close with Mr. Hoover. You know, he's like a family to us. And yeah. we. Ju I just want to keep that going. I want to be part of this community, you know. I've been here for a long time. I want to make sure that people give me a chance to represent well for them and know that they're safe with me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Uh, well, we will spread the word and get everybody over here as soon as possible. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank That's you. all we want. We want to work. We don't want anything handed down, you know. 
that's all we want in this business. And um, we are always taking the right measurements for everybody, you know, with COVID and what's going on. However you all feel comfortable, we wear masks and yep. everything else on that. That's awesome. So, thank you. Thank you. It was Absolutely. so, such a pleasure and honor to meet you. So, Absolutely. Thank yeah. you for taking the time and, you Absolutely. know, I, I couldn't wait. Cherry Wood, you know, I'm in this neighborhood, so I appreciate it. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys.